We live in a wonderful time. I'm so lucky to be alive right now where each and every single one of us who has a passion and interest can create content and develop a community around the niche. And there's so much diversity in the kinds of creators that we're seeing and the things that they want to speak about. There was an, an interesting statistic I saw recently about the number one most streamed app on iTunes ecosystem is YouTube. I'm proof of that because I spend hours a day watching YouTube content, more than the premium things that I pay for, including Netflix, Amazon, Hulu Prime, everything that I pay for. I watch more content on YouTube because it's relevant, it's topical, and it's from people that I want to hear from. So there's a different kind of relationship that's being built. Yeah, I agree with Chris that the gatekeepers have been removed. I think you have more options for how to get started. If you don't want to be a YouTuber, if writing is your medium, you could be a newsletter creator. Um, if education is really your sweet space, then um, courses can be the thing that you go to. Um, I think it's easier to get into the content creation side, but I think there's still a lot of work to be done on the monetization side. Um, I think the majority of creators right now are still monetizing off of brand deals, which means that there's a lot of opportunity for those other uh, monetiz monetization opportunities um, that allow you to build an actual sustainable, scalable business, which is the other side of this coin that needs to be talked about when we talk about content creation. Publishers. Anybody can now write a book and publish it. When you think about beauty, anybody can start a brand or create coursework. And so I think that openness of these consumers where they can find exactly what they're looking for versus having to go to a department store, for example, and just find something that's relatively close, opens up this world where they can find these creators that they really match exactly that voice that they speak. So I think that that's part of it is like the gateway, but also the consumer realizing that they have so much more choice. What specifically should they be doing to go full time? What should they be considering? They used to gatekeep being able to link in your stories until you got to 10K followers. But the reality is you should start monetizing immediately, whether that's through a digital download, whether you wanna do coaching, you wanna build that muscle with your audience where they know that investing you, investing in you is going to be the thing that's going to ensure your long-term success, ensure that you can still keep providing them with valuable, valuable content and experiences. To have diversification out the door, right? You don't wanna walk away from your full-time corporate career just because you've done a few brand deals or even like you've launched a product, I think you need to have diversification, whether it's through a newsletter or product, even, you know, a side hustle with consulting. I feel like enough creators don't do that in a lot of ways. And so I think that's the first piece before deciding to like hand in your notice. The hardest part is actually being good at what you do because you get one shot at making a good impression. The money will be there, put in the work. The next part is to master the media. So as you're mastering your craft, start to make content. Prime the audience that this is what I do. Educate them on what you do, your personality. Find your voice and your community. And then I think the world's riches will be there for you.